Hello guys and thank you for joining us. Today we're going to be going over how to update the firmware on the Panasonic Lumix 12-35mm f2.8. Now the reason we're updating the firmware is so that we can use the optical image stabilization built within the lens in combination with the 5-axis stabilization built within the GH5. Now you can only achieve this dual image stabilization if you're running the version 1.3 firmware and as you can see we're running version 1.2. Before we begin, I would like to mention that we have the version 1 of the Panasonic Lumix 12-35mm f2.8. I understand that Panasonic recently released a version 2 of the same lens, and I believe the lens comes with the latest firmware already installed. So without further ado, let's jump into each step on how to update the firmware on the lens. With the GH5 off, insert the SD card into the slot and turn the GH5 on. Press the menu button and navigate to the second wrench icon. Next, scroll down to the format option on the last page. In the format option, the slot with the current SD card will be available. Formatting the SD card will erase all files, so it's very important to make sure the card is empty and that any important files that were previously on the card are backed up. Press enter Select Yes to delete all data on the card. Formatting should take a few seconds. Once it's complete, turn the GH5 off and eject the card. Using a memory card reader compatible with your SD card, connect the memory card reader into your computer's USB port. Now insert your memory card and double click it to open its contents. Now we will need to search through our web browser to find the model number for the lens. The reason the model number is so important is you will need it to search for the appropriate firmware download for the lens. Now that we have the model number, let's head over to Panasonic support page. Now you can find the link for this page in the description. Panasonic support page provides a full list of firmware updates for both camera bodies and lenses. Let's scroll down to the lens section and find our specific model number. Once we have it found, let's go to the very right column and click on the blue link to open the download page. The download page will open as a pop-up and on the upper left corner you'll find a version 1.3 and to the right of that you'll find the dual image stabilizer feature under the description. The download section has two options. The first option here is a .exe file for Windows and the second option is a .zip file for Mac. Click and download whichever file pertains to your operating system. Once the download is complete, right click on the file, select copy, double click on the SD card to open this folder and with that open now let's right click again and paste that file within the SD card. And now that the file has been copied on the SD card, now we can press eject and then let's head back over to the GH5. Insert the SD card and turn the GH5 on. Press the green playback button on the upper left hand side. This will open the version startup menu. Select yes to initiate the firmware update and make sure not to press any buttons before the update is complete. For the sake of this tutorial, I decided to speed up the update just to save time. Now the update should take about a little over a minute to complete. Once the update has been complete, the GH5 should resume back into live view mode. Now when we navigate back into the menu system and under the version display, we'll find a version 1.3 listed next to the lens firmware. And now going back into live view, we should find a dual caption listed over the 5-axis stabilization symbol. So for anyone who doesn't have access to a gimbal, this dual image stabilization setup should be great for shooting footage handheld. We hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. Thanks again guys and happy filming.